Hello, Jess here from nigeza.blogspot.com. Today I'm here to uh, walk through and show you um, the the Soft Sayings um, card kit. Um, now, lots of people showed this right at the beginning when the catalogue first came out, and I did buy it, but I've never actually gone through it myself. So I thought I'd I'd go through it um, now. Um, it's uh, all in one card kit. Um, which means that it contains everything you need um, to make 20 cards. You make um, two of each type, so there's 10 designs, you make two of each type. You get an exclusive stamp set um, with the kit, which you can then use the stamps afterwards. You get the ink block, you get um, some ink, and you get all the embellishments that you need. And once you've made it, if you'd like to make it again, you can buy a, a refill, which is just... Um, the bits, the card bits and the embellishments, it doesn't include the um, stamp set again, the ink or the block, because you don't need those, but it does include everything else, and then that will be £19. So um, if you're just starting out, um, it is a good way to start, and it would be an ideal Christmas present. So that's kind of why I'm showing it now, because if you're sitting thinking, oh, what can I get somebody for Christmas? Um, if they've ever thought, oh, I quite like a bit of card making, then this is the ideal start, because it's got everything you, you, you need in it. So... Um, yes, there it is laid out there quite nicely in the catalogue, but I'll show you it in the flesh, so to speak. Okay, so it comes in a really nice box and great for if you're going away for a weekend. I quite often do that and then I can craft when I'm away. So all of our uh, card kits come with the, the instructions um, in different languages. Um, so there's the, the English and it has a full colour uh, photo of each of the cards and then all the different bits of the instructions are numbered and they correspond at the back. So it tells you what are the colours that are in it. So it's uh, basic grey, berry burst, gold, lemon lime twist, powder pink and tranquil tide. And it um, tells you that, that you might need uh, mini glue dots and multi-purpose liquid glue are... Um, our, uh, our green glue um, as well other than other than that everything else is in 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 the kit um, and all the numbers there correspond to the numbers in the diagram to tell you what you what you've got to do okay so they really are simple and easy to follow so these are the stamps that you get um, really good sentiments for every occasion um, plus you get some floral elements and I've used these these floral bits on their own um, you can do some background stamping with those um, you can put them together and they make a, a nice card on it on its own with with some of the um, sentiments so once you've kind of had a go at this um, then you might get your creative juices going and you, you kind of go and do your own thing um, with it so you can only get the the stamp set with this kit. It comes with a, a really good decent size um, block um, that is uh, probably about the same size as our D, yeah just a little bit bigger than our than our D block. They're not quite as thick as our, our normal blocks but they're you know good good for a starter. Okay and you get an ink spot and this one's got the archival basic grey um, ink spot. Um, you get a bit of washi tape with it and you get all your all your card blanks i have had a quick look through so that's why it's not quite so quite so neat as it could be so that's our um different card blanks yes yeah, so there's two each of those there must be some more down here um and then we've got, so they come in different, different sized cards. So beautifully sort of watercolor effects, um, lovely, lovely colors. So that's the 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And somewhere here I must have, ah, uh, those two little ones. So they come in different sizes, so they're, um, you know, 
really, really handy. Um, it's always nice to have a stack of cards. Okay, we've got the um, dimensionals and then these beautiful envelopes that have all got um, a different colour on the outside when you stick it down. So that's, that's really quite pretty, that coordinate um, with the cards. So some are pink, some are tranquil tide, some are basic grey. So they're really lovely and they're our usual really good quality envelopes that um, Stamping Up do. There are some of these um, die cut um, pieces um, that layer on your card nicely. You get the die cut, um, these are like stitched edge, so these are for stamping sentiments on. You've got some leaves, some in um, lemon line twist, some in tranquil tide that just pop out and you've got some more labels there for stamping on. A bit of lemon line twist twine and then you've got this absolutely gorgeous um, glimmer paper that again I've got different leaves and flowers that, that pop out. You can see better on the back the designs that they are. Okay, so I'm going to make um, a card. Um, as you can see, I haven't made one. Um, so I'm going to make one to, to show you how easy they are to do. So I haven't decided what I'm going to make, um, but I think I might do this one because it's got um, lots of the different elements in it. Um, um, yeah, I'll do that one. So I'll keep that picture there. So I need the sort of spotted card blank, so that's that one. I need some glimmer. I need one of the single roses, not one of the ones with the stem, so I want that one. Not one with the stem and they just pop out. And all these spaces in between, you can use that um, for other things. With other punches, you can punch little bits out. Um, so you've got all that left over. When you finish making them, I would not be binning that. That's a huge piece of glimmer paper that you can use for something else. Okay, we want the bit of twine. We want a bit of washi. We want one of these. And we want um, a couple of leaves. So we want a couple of these leaves. And we'll want some dimensionals. As I find what I did with them. So we want it's the I'm happy you're in my life um, is the sentiment. You could use any sentiment, you don't have to stick with the one that that's that's on there. Um, but we'll go with what's on there. And so I'm going to use the block so that you can see the block in action. I will use my grid mat to stick it on in a straight line. Not that it matters because you can see through it, but I just like it that way. So let's open up this. Nice colour that. I like that. Bit tranquil wide. Tranquil tide even. Good grief, can't even speak. Right, now let me check the numbers. So it's got number one. So let me check what number one means. It will be stamp. Number one is stamp in basic grey. 
it's got number two, which is a tear washi tape. Number three is a tear using mini glue dots. Um, number four is pop up using stamping dimensionals. Uh, number six is tie um, a twine bow. It's suggesting that we use 12 inches. Um, and so that's it. The only thing I haven't got is um, glue dots with me, I don't think. Um, oh, yes, I have. I have got some glue dots. Fabulous. Right, so I shall. There's glitter everywhere. I don't know if it's coming out on camera, but because of the glimmer paper, sort of glitter, glitter everywhere. So I'll just do a quick burnish of that. And then I'm going to get a bit of washi tape. And that's just stuck on the top. So cut off a length of that and put it along the top there. Oh, I got a crease there. I don't know how that happened. There we go. And then I'm going to stamp my image. With this, yeah, done it. Opened it up. Okay, I'll leave that attached, and then you just take the ink spot to the ink. Give it a good ink up. It's never been used before, so I will stamp it once to make sure. Lovely. So this is a slightly subtler colour than you get with the black archival ink which is often what you get in the kits. So it's photopolymer, you do need a, a stamp mat but because I'm doing it on my big pad it's um, it's okay. It usually works all right. So stamp that down. You always leave it a little bit longer for archival ink. There we go. That's really quite sweet. I like that. Okay, and so we need to put a bit of put a bit of glue behind. That looks like actually it's got another. That's got the rose stamped underneath. I've just realised. So let's have the big rose. I wondered what that was. I was thinking it were a sticker, but I didn't. So we'll get that off. Ink that up. And then I'm going to stamp that about there. So it's just peeping out when that's going to go on there. And then we need a couple of leaves, which is being stuck on with glue dots. So we have a pack of glue dots here. So I'm going to just put the glue dot on the end of the leaf. And it will be stuck underneath there and the end will be covered up by the sentiment. Stick another one on. Underneath gives it a bit of dimension to it. Dimensionals on that. Now I've got them. So Put a few dimensionals on here. going on there like that. That 
is going to get stuck on top there like that. I'm going to take a glue dot and I'm going to I'm going to um, roll it up a bit. I think. Fold it in half. Roll it around. And stick it here where it's a bit thicker. And then stick it on. Careful not to go over the top of the card and the side of the card because otherwise it won't go in the envelope. And then a little bit of twine. Find the end. It says about a foot. There we go. Take my bone folder. Just try and iron out some of the creases. And then I'm going to do some bunny ears. It's a tiny bow. I don't know why it said a foot, because actually, I don't think it needs to be that long. So I'll pull that a bit shorter, like so. And then another little glue dot to adhere that. Roll it up again. Put it in the centre of the bow and stick that on the side there to it here down. And then I'm going to snip them ends, they are a little bit too long, like so. And that is the first card. And how long did that take? Not very long at all. Okay, hope you like that. I will make the others and show you what they look like. Right, I just wanted to show you putting this one together because that's a little bit different. We don't normally have um, things like this. And what's really good about this is because it's got a frame, um, you can apply adhesive around the edge. Now the um, instructions suggest that you get some Tombow, but I'm just going to use some fast fuse for quickness and you might prefer a tape pen and it will work oh, with either. It is paper to paper so it doesn't have to be fast fuse, it could be, I'm sticking it to the grid mat, you know, um, if you've got snail that'll work or if you've got tear and tape or if you've got whatever adhesive you like to use um, this one is actually I've done it the other way around to what it is in the picture but I don't suppose it matters because um, they've got it that way but I've done it that way but it doesn't matter so this is designed to go um, to the edge of the card without the border which I have to say is a bit difficult when you're stood slightly away from the desk as I am there we go so that's that tiered and then it wants um, an I love you no not I love you love you lots jelly tots um, on it. I am just going to stamp it down because I have not stamped it before. There we go. Always like to test it out just in case there's any areas that 
aren't quite right and sometimes you just need to put a rubber over them um, if you have any that's not stamping quite right I kind of call it priming it so straight There we go, do love the fonts. Love it, love it, love it. Right, so that's kind of going to go there. So I'll have a bit of washi underneath that. About that much. So that's going to go across there. Not quite straight. Might peel a bit of that off like so. We need to stick the leaves on, a couple of glue dots on that. They didn't come off. So that's going to go on there. Like so, that's going to go under there, like that, stick the other one next to it, like that, a couple of dimensionals on the back of this and you are done. So. As you can see, really quick, really quick to do if you were on a weekend away, just watching telly, just wanting an afternoon, making cards. You could buy this between two of you so that you add 10 cards each and you could spend a lovely afternoon with a friend um, over a cup of coffee or the evening or a glass of wine. And you could make some lovely cards which will cover every occasion. You could make them all birthday if you wanted to. So there we go. So I've made two cards really, really quickly. Okay. So my little tip when putting these cards together is to do all the stamping first. So um, I've made two. So those are the other eight. So you've got your, your 10 left there for doubling up. Um, but you also get an extra sheet here um, with um, another 10 toppers so if you made a mistake or you wanted to change it there is room for you um, to to do other things so what I will be doing now is getting all the little elements I need for each card putting them in a pile and then um, getting ready to put it together so there we are I finished them all probably about an hour um, really nice really relaxing um, so I've got half of them done so as you can see some of them have got some stamping on them as well and that's where the the leaves and the flowers um, come in but really really beautiful um, bit of bling in that one um, all the colors go really nicely together this one I would never have put lemon lime twist and tranquil tide um, with with pink would never have done it but it looks lovely that so cute I like it I like it a lot that those those blingy leaves just let it pop looks gorgeous love the simplicity of this it's lovely nice masculine card uh, for a birthday this one you know, clearly a female card for a birthday I imagine I uh, don't like to stereotype but and then that one really really um, nice and then the two you saw me make. So, hope you enjoy that. If you think, oh, could you know, that'd be a lovely Christmas present for me, why don't you tag your your, your, your husband, your partner, your son, your daughter, um, in in, uh, in my Facebook page, um, where I'm gonna um, link the, the blog to this and go, you know, how more subtle can you be? Okay. okay, hope you like it. All the details will be over on my blog, my Jezza dotblogspot.com 
and details of how you can buy this if you want to.